my interest in jewellery sort of started very, very early on. My grandmother, who'd been brought up in Turkey and India as a child, um, she had an amazing charm bracelet that was just full of beautiful, tiny objects and animals. I think as a child, I was just sort of fascinated with that level of intricacy. And then as I went through art college and various degrees, obviously I got closer and closer to becoming a jeweler rather than a designer of something else. I think for a, a client to come into a working studio uh, where the girls are actually on the benches, literally creating something in front of their eyes, they can actually see the technical processes that are happening. Um, plus they get to see completely finished work and of course they get really intimate one-to-one -one time with me. We use a lot of traditional hand finishing techniques in the work. We still, still do gold and silver soldering on site here. Um, things are cut by hand. I make all the original masters. Um, so there's a there's a very human imprint on the work which I produce. It is not off a conveyor belt. My work is about storytelling, but in precious metals. It kind of marries all the things that are most important to me, working in, in beautiful materials. It brings in history, my love of sort of ancient objects. And when a client comes into my studio, they always bring their own story with them. And then I work with them to create something that, that they really will want to wear forever. I do believe that if you put on a piece of jewelry that you connect with somehow and that you love, it actually can enhance how you feel for the rest of the day. Often people will come in with uh, pieces of jewellery which they want changed to something new. And that's a really beautiful thing to do because you keep stones and precious objects within the family, but recreate it into something that's much more wearable and they'll be able to hand down to their children in the future. <laughs>